Yeah. Go on with the auto. That's it. Huh? With the autonomous system. Um, these are the functions that uh, connect the circles on the diagram. Now, please understand that each of these functions, I'm reducing it to its simplest, you know, common denominator, its simplest understanding. And there are actually more, these ideas for each function can be developed. But I want to just run through quickly the simple understanding. From 0 to 1, you know, from the point to the line, is about moving. So the basic concept here is inertia to get moving, or momentum to stop moving. So we need to guide that movement. We need to get the device, to train the device, or the child, to follow the signal. So this is about guidance. Inertia to the momentum, and the basic thing there is sat now. That's the idea we get, the basic guidance we've got nowadays. So I'll reduce it all to uh, the driving the car, so we can understand how the autonomous system would operate. Now the reverse one here would be uh, an image stabilizer, you need to stabilize the image like in a camera. The, the zero, the point to the two to the face, is a yes or a no. You know, carrot or stick, the reward or the punishment. So you, you train the device to follow the signal and then, you know, if it makes an error, it's either yes or no, say to retrace in the maze. And there's zero to five, which I've reduced here just to steering. Obviously, there's lots of things involved psychologically in the steering towards a point, but that's the basic idea of steering, either to the right or to the left to the hemisphere, you know, different hemispheres of the brain, but here it's just basically steering. The one to the two is the drawing, basically a cartoon drawing, dividing everything up into areas, you know, a head and a body, like a child's drawing, a cartoon of the reality. This is the idea of the door, an open or closed area. And the one to five, you know, which is the movement to the eye, is either the accelerator, which mathematically is the differential. But obviously this has got more meanings as well. This means either moving together in formation, like with other people, or accelerating and overtaking. So there are more advanced meanings than these basic ones. The one to three, you know, the movement to the space is moving in or out of the space, homing in. So if you're moving an object, can all communicate that the object has actually moved into the point where you want to move it. Two to five, you know, the face to the eye is facial recognition, but obviously the recognition of all sorts of surfaces. And this facial recognition, the surface recognition, is the integral. So just like you had the differential, here we have the integral. If you remember, the differential goes to the um, left brain, the left hemisphere, the, the integral goes to the um, right brain, right hemisphere. Two to four is right or wrong. So just as you can say yes or no to an action, you can say that the time, the action might not be a yes or no, but it might be occurring at the wrong time. It might be out of sequence. So it's the timing, whether something's right or wrong in sequence. And then in language, because as I say, each one can be developed. So later on, as we develop consciously, there's grammar in the actual sequence of words. So you can see that the idea of sequencing applies to, say, objects moving and even language. Three to four is basically the soundtrack. It's several different polar opposites, you know, hard and soft, early and late, sharp and flat. It's a, it's a soundtrack of, of a game like the steering, about whether in the right place at the right time, whether it's in but generally we should understand as a soundtrack. Three to five, the space to the eye, reflection or refraction, basically as we understand it in a camera is a zoom function. The three to the eight is hot or cold, and it's the temperature, but it's all, not just the temperature, it's the actual intensity. So in this tri triangle, this relativity triangle, if we play music, obviously the music, the intensity of the music can vary and that inten variation in intensity is on that function. Three to six, the space to the pressure, 
is adaptation or sensitivity. So we ad adapt to a situation, the pressure in the situation, and then we become sensitive to changes in that, in that situation. Four to five, voice recognition. You know, from the, the voice to the eye, which, you know, which again is the ego, the driver. So it's recognition of the voice, but equally well it can be recognition of different sounds, different signals. Four to eight, uh, this is resonance and dissonance. Just as you get the intensity in the music, you get that you know, resonance or dissonance, which is in the tuning, which in the car would be the rev counter. Four to seven is the sequence, the, the timing of the objects. You see, the sequence of objects, which we call logistics, or is it a chess, like a chess, so we can integrate like a chess computer, for example, to be able to deal with various problems moving objects around. 5 to 8 is just a stop and go, which is basically the break in the simple function. 6 to 7, six minutes. Well, I'll finish this anyway. 6 to 7 is to describe an object, the CAD CAM manufacture. 6 to 8, the supply or demand, obviously economics, the fuel. 6 to 9, adjust or hold an object still, you know, manipulate it. Seven to eight, you know, seek a particular object or seek and find. Seven to nine, measure, fit in a particular object. And eight to nine is the clutch of the gears.